Hello there and welcome to my chaos. I'm sorry that the AC is currently on, so there's some noise going on in the background. It'll turn off in a little bit, hopefully. But um, yeah, it's the same day as the last video, literally like a minute later, haven't done anything. So I'm thinking, I don't know, what should we start off doing? Okay, so what I really need to do is move up with Ursula because I want to unlock Prince Eric and I also, um, I think I want to level up with Maui because I'm assuming that's how you get rid of the ugly blue brain things that are blocking Dazzle Beach. So let's go finish the quest with Ursula. I'm going to go make her her stuff and hopefully the AC will turn off by then and, um, yeah. Here you go. I wonder if we can get that throne in the background. Aha! Just as I suspected. This, look at her tentacles. This flower contains power that comes from a dark place. I just might be able to use it for a little experiment. I've been, oh, you're still here? Well, thanks for the help, Angel Fish. Mustn't overstay your welcome. I'll be in touch if something else comes up. I want to know about this experiment. Oh, and don't go helping anyone else too much. Stick with Ursula. Trust me, you want me as a friend. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing, actually. Ah, just the guinea pig I need. You'll help me with a little magical experimentation, won't you? Just a trifling thing, really. I doubt anyone will get hurt. Sounds legit. It's a little power extraction spell. Using that flower you acquired, what do you say? Wait, you doubt anyone will get hurt? If you say it's safe, I trust you. A dangerous ritual, fun. Careful, dear. The danger shouldn't be the exciting part. What? Why not? All right, let's prepare for a spell. And don't forget who's the boss. Me. I'll tell you. First, we need a seashell, but not just any seashell. We need one from that girl who's always talking to the ocean, Moana. We are still on a break. Me and Moana are on a break. She stressed me out last episode. Once you have that, find some aquamarine and some squid. Yeah, I think I have squid. Then combine all those things together into an enchantment potion, potion and bring it to me. I don't know why it keeps, like, stop. Go here. Get a seashell from Moana. <sighs> Moana got me stressed out last episode. So we're on, we're on a friendship break. Like, I still love her. I just need my space, you know? But they're not letting me have my space from her. Ooh. Close up! All right, Moana, where are you at? Oh, she right there. Yeah, running away. See, she understands that we need a break too. She's like, oh my gosh, there's Jamie. Run away. Hi, Jamie. Wow, you seem busy. Can I help you with anything? Ursula told me to talk to you. Have you found any seashells lately? Actually, I did. I thought it was a nice present from the ocean, but I'm starting to think maybe it wasn't for me at all. Here, it's all yours. Bye. Okay. Oh, wait, isn't there one by Goofy's house? A crafting station. go. Well, at least we didn't have to travel far for any of this. That was nice. <laughs> Did not have to go very far. Look at stupid Maui. Oh my gosh. All he does is dance all day, but like showing off his muscles kind of dance, like not even like real dancing. Like at least Moana like actually just dances. He just is gross. He's gross. I hate to say it. Actually, I don't. Angelfish, you're back, and you have what I need. Now hand over the enchantment. Okay. Oh. 
Ta-da! I used the enchantment on the flower you brought, and it's all ready to be used. However, I still need your help for one last easy detail. Take this. Place that flower near the entrance to that mystical cave on the beach. The cave you opened with the crystal I gave you. Why the mystical cave? What is it going to do? This flower now has the power to step, protect. Oh, she wants to steal the power of the cave. We wouldn't want anything bad happening to it, would we? Now go, move those little legs. Um, I have long legs. Thank you. What's this? Oh, it's a little chair. Cute. I've been staring at the edge of the water long as I can remember, never really knowing why. Do I place it on the inside or the outside? Hello? Why am I taking a picture? I don't get it. I don't understand. Talk to Ursula about what just happened. What? The spell backfired backfire, and the flower turned into a night thorn? Curses, it should have worked. The power of the valley must surpass the dark magic in this place. If only there was a way to harness it. Oh, I'd forget about you. Thanks for all the ass or I'd forgotten about you. Thanks for the assistance, dearie. Now run along. I need to ponder what's next. Tell me what's next. Since we're getting so chummy, I'll let you in on a little secret. But before I do, help me with one last thing, won't you? Okay. Well, I'm looking for a very powerful item. When my little experiment to extract the power from the valley failed, I learned about a dark and potent power that lurks in the Forgotten Lands. Oh, is that that black crystal thing? I'm done doing your bidding for free. I'm not sure I should. A power like this should stay. I'm done doing your bidding for free. Now you're talking my language, sweetie. Oh, so she respects the sass too. And I have exactly what you want. What is it? Don't tell me you're not dying to save Prince Eric. That is exactly what I want. <laughs> she knows me so well. Okay, Ursula, I think we're friends now. I have more risk. I, uh, I think we're friends now. Three exclamation points. Little Princey Poop. Yup. <laughs> I think me and Ursula are friends now. She's also part of my girl group. She's part of my girl squad. Team girl squad. Little Princey Poo begged me to save his beloved Ariel's memory when the forgetting happened. And so I did, of course, for a price. I sent Ariel away from the valley so the forgetting wouldn't affect her. And now he's a guest in my little garden. Oh, yikes. Such a poor, unfortunate soul. Ariel will never know what happened to him. Ah, uh, don't we have fun? Free him, it's the right thing to do. Eric, this is all old news to me. Let's move on. You're losing sight of what's important. I don't know, free him. Free him, ah, uh, don't you ever get tired of being so good? It's not really being good. I just want some eye candy, you know? Of course, I could trade him if you help me get what I'm looking for. Okay. You are exhausting, but who am I to look but who am I to look a gift horse in the mouth? Go to the Forgotten Lands and look around. There are ruins there linked to that source of power. Bring me whatever you find. Oh, before you ask, I promise it's safe. I'm assuming it's that black crystal thing. That I collected a long time ago. Let's just go check my um house. I forgot to mention in my last video, you know how like I couldn't claim any of my rewards, like my ultimate bundle rewards, like um, for instance, 
like this little crocodile that you can't see because the grass is blocking it, blocking it. Well, like any of the stuff from the ultimate bundle because like for whatever reason I wasn't connecting to the cloud. Apparently, what had happened was <laughs> um, because my switch wasn't set to the correct time, it wouldn't connect. I saw someone made like a comment on YouTube that said that if your switch was not connected to the correct time, that the cloud save would not work. And I'm like, what? So I went and I connected it to the correct time and it worked. So um, there's that. Then I was immediately able to connect to the cloud and collect all of my things and participate in events and things. So um, whoever you are, that commented the thing. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you because without you, I wouldn't be here today wearing Maleficent horns. I probably would never have figured it out. Anyway, apparently we did need that dark crystal, so I'm glad I brought it with me. So let's go back to Miss Ursula. Angelfish, it's you. Did you... Uh-oh. No! Ursula. A dark crystal on a pedestal. Fabulous power, magic, it's exactly what I wanted. You're welcome. There were four pedestals in the ruins, and when I picked this up, they all started to glow. Well, actually, um, I kind of walked up to them and they started to glow because I had picked this up um, weeks ago. <laughs> Four pedestals in the ruins, eh? Well then, the other crystals must have been scattered throughout the village after the forgetting. The glow on the pedestals must be the ruins calling out for the crystals. Look around the village, Jamie. Bring those crystals back to the pedestals and see what happens. Oh, and take this one with you. You're gonna need it. Okay, now where do I go? I don't, I don't know. I guess we'll start up here. Do I have to dig for things or are they just gonna show up? On the plus side, everything's been practically cleared out. Oh, I see darkness. One crystal. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna find these crystals and then I'll be back. All right, we have found all four of the dark crystals and now we are going to return them to the pedestals. Well, amazing, perfect, wonderful, here you go. Yep, the magical crystal that appeared, mine. And give it to Ursula. Where is she at? I've been staring at the edge of the water as long as I can remember. Never really knowing why. Oh boy. Ugh! Rude. Take it, take it from me. Power, and it's all mine. The possibilities contained in this crystal will be mine to control. Ha 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 ha. Time to hold up your end of the bargain, free Prince Eric. Yes, yes, of course. As promised, Angelfish, your very own pathetic Prince Eric. It's okay, you can think of whatever you want. Okay, he's still an unfortunate soul. How do I transform him back? Oh, it's up to you to figure out how to fix that. Ursula! Always read the fine print, dearie. I mean, like, it's fair, I get it, because you're the sea witch and you're trying to fool me, but like, 
ew, spam messages, you're not going to trick me. Just stop messaging me. Stop wasting your time. But since I'm in a good mood, I'll give you a gift. Thank you. Take this outfit. <gasps> yes. And don't worry about your pretty little head. And don't worry your pretty little head about my growing power. I promise to put it to good use. Oh, stop. I want to feed that raccoon. Cutie, here you go. Take a blueberry. Yummy, 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 yummy. Look at his little tummy. So cute. Baby. Okay. Um. First, I want to see my dress. Yes, yes. Well, where is it? Hello. Here we go. We love to see it. Yep. 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 Okay. How do I continue? Poor unfortunate prince. Here he is. Oh my. <laughs> Woo! That is a nice looking man. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. Quest. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. <laughs> Bring poor unfortunate Eric to Ariel. All right, Ariel, where you at? Ariel, up in there, up in there. Hi, Scar, let's hang out. Yep, me and Scar. All right, Ariel, don't you dare. Don't you dare move, because I will get Ursula on you or Biffles. Yep, that's what I thought. Here's your boyfriend! I mean my boyfriend! <laughs> what? Who is this? Oh. Oh, I didn't even think about how, like, imagine handing over someone their, like, the love of their life like that. Oh no, Eric, how could Ursula do this to you? Jamie, please help us. We have to save him. Duh, I want to look at him as much as you do. You keep Eric safe and I'll go talk to Merlin. Don't worry, I got this. Only a wizard can sort this out. Ursula's got nothing on the us. Don't worry, I got this. Okay. Okay, thank you. I hope Merlin can help us. <sighs> oh, hey, Kristoff, my other eye candy. Honestly, I like Kristoff's personality, but like, ooh. Eric is, Eric is nice. He's very nice looking. Okay. Okay, Prince Eric was in the Sea Witch's clutches all this time. Oh dear, I see she gave him back his freedom, but not his body. That's just what I'd expect from a scoundrel like Ursula, always cheating to get what she wants. Tread lightly around her, Jamie. Oh, I do. I understand. Now, as luck would have it, I was just reading a book on transfiguration. It may hold the key to changing Eric back. It's called Transfigure Your Troubles Away, How to Turn a Frog Back into a Prince in Three Simple Steps. How convenient. There are no coincidences in Dreamlight Valley. Subconsciously, I must have known to pull it off my shelf this morning. Of course, Eric is not a frog, but he is a prince, so the same magic should apply. Well, yeah, I figured. So what's the first step? Let's see. The first step when turning a frog into a prince is to build him a home fit for royalty. Okay. I suppose that means you'll have to start by making a house for Prince Eric here in the village. Got it. Build Prince Eric a house. What's the next step? Next, the prince needs some sort of object to anchor him to the human realm. Once you've built his house, search to find something important to Eric. Ariel. Build him a house and find an... Oh, his statue? I don't know. Build him a house and find an object that's near and dear to his heart. A dinglehopper? Got it. What's the next... Or the third step? According to the book, the final step is a classic, Jamie. True love's kiss. Oh, okay, I'll kiss him. <laughs> Blech, how romantic. I'm not kiss, um, 
I would gladly do so. I find it a tad silly myself, but there's no magic more powerful than love. I don't think that's silly. I think it's sweet. It's Ariel's love that will restore Eric. What? What about my love? What about me? What about Maleficent? <laughs> now, once you've found a suitable object in his house, bring it to her and have her call his name three times while picturing Eric as he should be. That should restore him. Then, to make sure the spell is permanent, she'll have to kiss him soon after. Good luck, Jamie. Okay, Eric, where do we put your house? Uh, should I, like, get this? Because it's been sitting here all day long. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad they fixed the lightning. It hurt my eyes. It was hurting my brain. I couldn't imagine someone who, like, suffers from epilepsy or is prone to seizures or or things like ugh, I really need to do some redecorating because Goofy's little rustic house here does not look great next to uh, Eric's palace or castle whatever it is although I love it in here I think it's super cute it's getting there I still want to add more but I like feel like I need more you know Totally goes with Goofy's house. Totally within the same vibes, you know. Ah, so you want to build a castle fit for a prince, eh? Well, never fear. McDuck Construction can do it at a reasonable price. Once you see this house, I promise you will never regret it. Probably not. I mean, 10,000 dream like whatever, star coins for a castle? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, that's really cute. I will not be stopping to smell the roses when there's money to be made. All right, I want to see this thing. I want to see that thing. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, look at it with the thing on top. Yeah, Goofy, we mad have to move your house, like, stat, because I feel like we can't really appreciate Eric's palace for what it is when there's, like, an outhouse here. <laughs> Oh my god. I think it looks nice next to that though. I think that can stay there. So maybe we'll put like the rustic stuff over here. I think I want to move Merlin. I don't know. Oop, I think I want to put Wally's. Oh, you can't like see me pointing. Hello. I want to put Wally's stuff where like Merlin is maybe and maybe we can put Goofy there. I don't know. But yeah, that's that's um that's not the vibe over here. Not quite the vibe. All right. So what else do I need to do? Search Eric's castle for an object that's dear to his heart. Oh, his flute! I haven't watched The Little Mermaid in so long. See, this is nice. I think I have these chairs and this table. Those look nice together. Wow. Okay. Noted. Um, those pillows are cute. Piano. Nautical's not really my vibe, but you do you, Eric. Also, Skull Rock. I'm wondering, um if this is going to be someone's house at some point, like Peter Pan or Captain Hook or something. Like, I wonder if we'll be able to go inside, right? It seems like we should be able to. I don't see why not. Oh, like wrong direction, you dumb dumb. Okay, next quest, get rid of these blue brain things. I want them gone. They're driving me insane. Hi, Ariel. My girl group. My teen girl squad. I'm cheerleader. You can be so and so. And then Moana can be what's her face, and Ursula can be the ugly one. <laughs> the ugly one! That's Eric's flute. He was playing it the first time I saw him. Where did you get this? Will this help us save him? Merlin told me how to restore Eric. Hold the flute, picture Eric in your head, call his name three times, and seal it with a kiss. It's literally witchcraft. It will work. I hope you're right. Nope, Ariel, you have to say that it will. Eric. Eric? Eric! And now I'll kiss him. Mwah. Oh, Eric, I hope you feel how much, or how much I love you. Please return to me. 
Welcome, Prince. And of course, my cat's in the litter box and the AC's going, ruining the vibe. <laughs> Welcome, Prince Eric. <gasps> I'm ready for my eye candy. Oh, what should I make him? Hi, babe. Um, I feel like he should be collecting gems, right? I don't want him like fishing. I feel like that's insensitive to Ariel. <laughs> we'll make him a miner. All right, where's my eye candy? I'm ready. Ah. It glitches. <laughs> Game crashes, never comes back. Oh, here it is. I was like, what? <gasps> Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 Why don't men wear clothes like that? So, oh. Yep. Oh, look at his hair. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, what face should I have? <laughs> Hi, Eric. Everything's fine. Hmm. That's, that's too much. They gotta fix some of these expressions. They're, like, way wild. Wild in. Okay, nothing. Me and my boyfriend. That's weird. Cute. All right, Eric. Oh man, I can't wait to get back out to the water. Oh man, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> yes, men, please bring back this style. A nice, loose, white shirt that's, like, tucked in in the middle, like, bringing out that rectangular feature, and then the long, slim legs. Yes, 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 yes. Mm-hmm. Is it true? Am I really human again? Yep, just in time to marry me. I am, and it's all thanks to you. I don't know how I'll ever repay you marry me. Oh, and <laughs> just so you know, I was taken. Just kidding. I was, oh, and <laughs> just so you know, I was conscious the whole time, bumping around inside your pack. You should really clean that thing out. I'm not here to be roasted. Yeah, I know, maybe later, but I'll never know what I'll need. Um, yeah, we're not gonna give him any sort of satisfaction with that comment. Sorry, not sorry. Wait a second, where's Ariel? Is she okay? What did Ursula do to her? See, I want a man who thinks of me, like, instantly. Ursula sent her to a deserted island, but she's safe now. She helped me rescue you. Um, she'll be happy to see you. I've got to see her right away. Whoa. Wow. I'm so famished I can barely walk. I can't face her like this. Not after everything. I have to get my strength back first. No problem. I'll whip up a dish for you that's fit for a prince. How to gazpacho vegetable stew and a fresh berry salad sound. A whole three-course meal. That sounds incredible. Thanks, Jamie. Um, I would literally do anything for you in the hopes that you would marry me. <laughs> like, like how tall he is. Oh, he's a bowing to me, man. Man, I missed that. Okay, um, yeah, let's level up with him. I love Dazzle Beach, the salty air, the wind blowing in your face. There's nothing like it. I love the ocean. You do? We're pretty similar then. What's your favorite thing about it? Not the sand. Um, the waves? I understand that. I love crashing over the waves as long as they aren't crashing over the ship. <sighs> he bows to me like a true gentleman. Shh. Oh, oh, Kristoff, you, you, oh, oh, um, yep, yep, that's it. <laughs> I'm in love. <laughs> I'm in love. Hi, Jamie, my one true love. All right, what do you want? What can I give you? Love me. Oh, you want a pumpkin? <laughs> Dark wood? Boy, boy, you asking for too much. Oh, I was like, why didn't that move up? Because I gave him an apple, not a flower, you dum-dum. Take a flower, not an apple. I was like, did they, like, lower the amount you, like, get from them? Okay, thanks, Jamie. Okay, what do I get from him? A picture of him? A poster of him? Ew, him kissing someone that's not me? 
Oh, look at that ship. That's cool. Okay, I'm not really into like any of this. Is that a hairstyle? <laughs> we can dry it on just for giggles. Max is cute. Um, yeah, I don't really want any of it except for the ship. Okay, we're gonna make you mining. I can't wait to get back out to the water. Okay, follow me around. I need my eye candy with me at all times. So long, let me know. Wait. I thought that was Eric talking. I'm like, why is his voice so low? <laughs> Has he talked at all? What does his voice sound like? Did Ursula steal it? Um, wait. Okay, I don't know. I felt like I was gonna do something, but I forgot. Oh my God, look at him posing. Wow. I have the hots for Eric, like mad, mad hots for Eric. Oh, there's Chernabog's Island, you know, <laughs> Chernabog's Mountain. Oh man, oh man. Oh, oh boy. I'm in trouble. We're, we're in trouble, Eric. Me and you. Look at how tall he is! How tall am I next to Elsa? I better be taller than Elsa. Oh, we're the same height. Okay. Yep. 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 Okay, so follow me around. You are mine. Uh, Mother Gothel, that is not your throne. Not even a little bit your throne. But whatever. Okay, Eric, what, what do I need to make you? Let's go to Remy's. We'll go to stupid Rem Rem. Remember when I was so excited for Remy? LOL. <laughs> okay, oh, let's feed all these people first. Okay. <sighs> feed Moana, even though we're taking a break. Okay, and Mickey wants sushi, Kristoff wants veggie pasta. Sushi, veggie pasta. Have I even made veggie pasta? Anytime, Mickey. Oh, hey. Yeah, Kristoff, sorry. Um, I'm in love with someone else. I'm, I'm breaking up with you. <laughs> I'm breaking up with you. It's over between us. I've found someone who, like, I mean, look at the way he dresses. Look at this. Look at this. Look at his hair. Did I unlock his hair? Wait, let's look at his hair. <laughs> let's look at this stupid hair. Okay. Stop doing that. Jeez. Um, does it tell me which one it is? Is it this one? Um, no, I don't, I don't think so. Where was it? I did unlock it, right? I thought I did. Hmm. Oh, I forgot I bought this. I don't like it with the bangs. Oh, that's cute. I'm forgetting about some of these hairstyles. <laughs> um, anyway, we're gonna go back to my straight villain hair. And does it tell, does it show up in here what 
um he wants okay perfect yep make that Oh, oh. Oh, do I not know how to make the other two? Darn it. Okay, so we have gotten 55 of these little pumpkin thingies. So what should I spend my money on? The spooky tree is nice. Web snare tree. I love plague mask, but I want to decorate for Halloween. The candles are cool. I think we're gonna go with the tree. Yeah, let's do the tree. There we go. You're beautiful. It's true. Is there anything that's 15? Cat ears are 25. Okay, we'll save the rest. All right. Eric, my darling, my one true love. Um, you know what? I'm gonna give it outside because I've learned from Moana the hard way. So let's just um, like I don't think Eric's gonna drop anything, but we're not gonna risk it. We're just not. We're not here for that. Oh my God! Did you see him looking at me? <sighs> my one true love. Do it again, Eric. Yes. Yes, yes, he loves me. He is so into me. We are meant for each other. Oh. I want my character to smile again, so it looks like he's glancing over at her while she's smiling. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> he's so in love with me, okay. There you go, Eric, my one true. Oh, look at his legs. Look at them long legs. Jamie, this looks delicious, even better than what Chef Louie makes. Thanks. No, what can I say? <laughs> wow, that was great. I feel so much better. I can't wait to talk to Ariel. I know she'll be so happy to see her, even though you're breaking up with her to marry me instead. Let's go now. Okay, come on, Eric. Let's go have you break up with Ariel. Witness Ariel and Eric's re- Oh, I have to follow him, actually. <laughs> Storming off to break up with his wife. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. Hi, Wally, you're so cute. Yeah, me and my husband. Together, forever. <laughs> And you know, I was going to move that statue because I'm like, well, I don't need like a shrine of Eric. You know what, actually, yes, I do. In fact, I do need a shrine of Eric. <laughs> At all times, we need many of them. Ariel, it's me. I'm finally human again. Oh, Eric, that makes me so happy. I wanted to tell you. I'm sorry about the deal with Ursula. I just wanted to protect you and... It's all right. I made a deal with her once too, remember? Never again then? Never again. We're together now and that's all that matters. Aww. I love that she's like swimming. All right, talk to Eric. I can't thank you enough, Jamie. There were times when Ursula had me captive that I lost hope. I thought I'd never see Ariel again. But now, because of you, we're reunited. I'm a sucker for a good love story. I am. I couldn't let Ursula win. No problem helping the valleys, but I do. I'm a sucker for a good love story. There's just one thing I can't stop thinking about. You, Jamie. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> Something Ursula said to taunt me. Actually, never mind. You've already helped me enough for one day. I'm gonna try to solve this mystery on my own. Eric? Eric? No. We're in this together. Ugh. Friendship level three? Just give him a bunch of flowers.
Ariel's watching, making sure I don't nab her boyfriend. She's making sure I don't snatch her boyfriend. Yeah, you should be watching me, Ariel. You need to be keeping an eye on me. Thanks, Jamie. You're welcome, my love. Jamie, I could use your help solving a mystery that came up while I was being held captive by Ursula. Yes, tell me everything. While she had me in her little garden, Ursula liked to taunt me with something. She said there was a way that Ariel wouldn't have to be torn between worlds anymore. That we could be together on land whenever we wanted. She said there's a kind of magic that would allow Ariel to change between human and mermaid. I've been looking in every book in Merlin's library, but I can't figure out what she was talking about. It must have been dreamlight magic. Hmm, so it's all about changing shape. I could speak to Maui. No. Oh, Maui, he's got a power like that. He's been around a long time, I bet he's seen a lot of weird magic. He's a demigod up. He's got a power like that. That's the only reason. Right, maybe he can teach Ariel. Thanks, Jamie. Come back and see me after you talk to him. Oh, I will. Well, actually, you're following me around because you're my one true love. Yep. Um, so speaking of being my one true love and following me around, help me get this, what is it, Peridot? Peri I don't know how to pronounce it. Whatever. This little green thing. No, nothing. It's okay. You're only level three. We're going to work up to it. Wait, are you going? No. Okay. Um, hi Mother Gothel, who was like, oh, we need to talk to Maui. <sighs> Stupid Maui. I don't think me and Moana are on a break anymore. I think I've been refreshed. We can be friends. Well, we were never not friends, but our break is over. I'm feeling better now. He's in a soup house. All right, come on, Eric. Hey, Jamie, how can I help you today? Got a giant crab bothering you? Want me to lasso a star? Shut up. You're a shapeshifter, right? Ariel needs a way to turn back and forth from human to mermaid. Can you teach Ariel? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. I can shapeshift, but only because of the power of my magic hook. And before you ask, no, you can't borrow it. I wasn't going to ask. Magic hooks are very personal, and yet you took my pickaxe, my one true pickaxe. You could try creating an enchanted object yourself. I mean, you're full of dreamlight magic, right? Who knows? It could work. What are you good for? Ugh, all of these are gross. That's what I like to hear, Jamie. You've got this. I know. You don't need to tell me that I do, because I know. Okay, so if I'm going to help Ariel and Eric, I need to enchant something. I'll need something with dreamlight magic in it, maybe some purified night shards, yes. But if I'm going to be messing with dreamlight magic, I'll need something to ground the spell, something from Earth, maybe some white impetian, I don't know, whatever, flowers. Oh, and a vial to mix it all up in. Sounds like Merlin's rubbing off on you, kid. You're definitely getting the hang of this magic stuff. Shut up. Of course, once you've got all that junk, You'll need something to enchant. Maybe Eric can help you figure that part out. Have a good time enchanting stuff. Thank you for nothing, Maui. I literally came to that conclusion by myself. Like he's just like, no, I can't help you. This is my magic hug. I can't help you. I need a nail file, like now. Eric, go get me a nail file. Go get me a nail file. Get your girlfriend a nail file. Okay. <gasps> My pumpkins are ba Wow, it's already almost four? Shut up. Shut up. Uh, I don't want to get rid of Eric. Um, all right, we're going to have to, Eric, because I need, I need Mickey or Minnie or someone. And then I'll go find you afterwards. Let's hang out, Minnie. Thank you. Oh, he bows. He bows to me. <laughs> I'm never walking around with anyone ever again unless it's for, um, you know, getting pumpkins and things. Like, I don't want anybody else. I only want Eric. Like, what did I think Kristoff was good for? Kristoff versus Eric? Get out of here. Get out of here. He treats me like a lady. Oh, wait, Minnie, you also need to be in my girl squad. Eric! Eric, my love. Where did he go? 
Wow, he ran away. He ran away. He said, help me, please. Get me away from this weirdo. I get it. I get it. Goofy, you ruined the moment. Jesus. Uh, did you learn anything from Maui? He told me we need to enchant an object. I put together everything we need for the spell, except for the object we need to enchant. Enchanting an object? That sounds familiar. Wait, Ursula, when she made a deal with Ariel for her voice, Ursula used a Nautilus shell pendant. It allowed her to speak with Ariel's voice, so we knew they could be enchanted. A Nautilus shell. Let's get one. Is that an octopus snail? I've never fished one. Okay, let's get one. It won't be easy. They live deep underneath the waves, but maybe we can lure one up. They're scavengers. We need something that smells awful, like it comes from the depths of the ocean. I have fish gut oil or I have this fish gut oil sailors sometimes use. What do they use that for? I, oh, I guess to pull stuff up. Maybe we can combine it with some other ingredients, but I'm not sure what would work. I'll ask Remy. He knows everything about how to put together flavors. That's great. Here, take this fish gut oil with you. And thanks again for helping me. Anytime, you beautiful, beautiful man. Anytime. Did I not unlock the hair? I didn't even pay attention when I leveled up with him again. I did unlock the hair. Where is it? I want to look at it. Not that I'm going to wear it because I'm, I'm not into that short hair thing, but... Or was that the hair that I put on? That wasn't it, right? But maybe that is it. I could have sworn the swoop was on the other side. I think it's this one. Hmm. Oh, that was it. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Bring Remy the fish gut oil. That's so gross. Gross. All right. Let's go see stupid Remy. Per usual. Bonjour, dum dum. Part of his world. What did you just give me, Jamie? It smells like a thousand dead fish. That's because it is. I want to create bait for a Nautilus. It needs to stink. I want to use this fish gut oil as a base. I'm definitely not sorry. It's going to be fun. Maybe you'll be maybe you'll be able to stomach the smell. It's going to be fun. You and I have very different ideas of fun. Yes, yes. I'm sure we do. Are you sure you want to turn good ingredients into a disgusting slush? It'd be such a waste. No, it's not. I literally have a purpose for it, you dum-dum. Don't question me. Fine, Jamie, somebody's touchy today. Just don't try to eat it. I don't think it'll be safe for humans. Um, I'm not touchy, I just can't stand you. I'm thinking lancet fish, I don't even know what that is, crab, garlic, and onions for the first ingredient. If you bring me those, I'll prepare a meal no scavenger can resist. In the meantime, I'll keep a tight lid on your fish gut oil. What is that lancet fish? What is that? Have I caught that? Oh, I have. Oh, okay. So get one of those. And I have the rest, okay. Okay, let's go. I don't want the day to be over. It's Sunday. I just, ugh, I cleaned like all day yesterday and then I worked all day yesterday planning. So it's like one day off. Oh, totally wrong direction, duh. I just wanna have tomorrow off so that I can hang out with Prince Eric all day. Is that so wrong of me? Honestly, is it so wrong of me to just want two days off, like actually have off instead of spend it, spending it all day cleaning and working? What, what, what even? And then I like 
come home every weekday and work some more like what how's that fair okay let me see i know that it's like the blue oh here we go perfect it's the blue guy Like, I'm just not getting paid enough to work that much, you know? Oh, that's not it. That was not it, but we're running low on those, so we can put that in my storage. Goop, we have an expensive one. Not what I'm looking for, but at the same time, I'm always looking for it, because it's a lot of money. Money is nice. any other pawns in here is it just the two i want to watch mean girls today but also i need to edit <laughs> because i want to get the last video up before halloween and i still have one more video to edit this one can come out afterwards Cause there's not much I can do. I oh jeez, because we didn't get to finish the scar stuff. Because they're like it's gonna take a thousand years for the stupid plant thingy to grow. Cause that was my intent. I wanted to do like all of the scar stuff in a day. <gasps> yes, yes, baby. What did I get? Five hundred coins. But more importantly, we grew in friendship. Oops, my bad. My bad. <gasps> He's so cute. Oh, please be it. Please, please, please. Dang it. Come on, why you do this? Why you do this? Like I would have all of the fish on hand, but I simply just don't have the storage. I'd have to have like another thousand bins. And frankly, I don't want that. I mean, I guess I could make like a fish room. I could make a nautical room just to, um, in honor of Eric, you know? And then like keep a bunch of fish in a whole bunch of storage bins. I don't know, that'd be kind of cute actually. That'd be kind of cute, actually. Oh, and then I could have all of the, like, under the sea stuff that, like, isn't the vibe, but I kind of like it anyway. Oh. I kind of like that idea, actually. And you know what I love about Eric versus Kristoff? Like, I felt like when I first saw Kristoff, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to act like I'm down to earth or something. But with Eric, <laughs> I feel like I can be dramatic around him and that he just appreciates me for the stunning beauty that I am. The stunning, dramatic beauty that I am. Ah! And I feel like he can handle me at my worst, you know, when I'm being like a real Disney villain. He'll keep me grounded. He'll say... Jimmy, that's not cool. And I'll say, but I love it. And he'll say, I like just stop being evil. And I'll be like, okay. Meanwhile, Kristoff would like probably walk away. You know, I don't think we're compatible. I think me and Eric are it. I think that's it. I found <laughs> just <laughs> not me getting distracted, trying to take selfies or not selfies, you know, pictures of him staring at me. Yeah, cute. There we go. We got it. <laughs> we got it. Okay. It's never taken me this long to catch one of those fish. I like never catch squid here. It's always the stupid Lance fishy things. Every time it's a blue thing. Like I get surprised when I catch a squid here. I'm like, oh yeah, I can catch that here. Please be the Lance fish thingy. Thank God. Okay. 
Come on, boyfriend, let's go. Garlic, onion, lancet, fish, crab. Garlic, onion, lancet, fish, crab. Garlic, onion, lancet, fish. Wait, was I not supposed to cook it? I wasn't supposed to cook it! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh, Eric, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell your girlfriend anything? Oh my gosh. It probably saved still because that's what it does. <sighs> oh, hey, so it's me from the future. I don't exactly know what happened, I guess, um, when I transferred the files from my computer onto my USB drive. Um, a little part of the footage from the game did not save to the USB drive, and I have since deleted it off the computer that it was originally recorded on. So, um, that's fun, but, uh, I am still pretty new to, uh, doing this, so I guess, you know, uh, learning experience. <laughs> Won't be doing that again. We'll definitely make sure that I double check that everything has saved properly before deleting it so uh yeah but basically what ha happened was is i did manage to re-catch the lancet fish i completed eric's quest and ariel got her lovely little legs and then started prancing around with her pretty beautiful lush red hair and her pretty big bow and i'm just over here with my flat hair like are you kidding me like it's it's a real competition between uh me and ariel fighting for eric's attention but um i think i've got it in the bag anyway so then i started maui's quest to destroy the blue brain things and by doing that i had to catch an eel bury its guts and then i planted some coconuts well attempted to grow some coconuts and while i was waiting for the coconuts to grow i went ahead and started on uh Do donald's final quest which was to build this fountain here and yeah there was pretty much like 20 minutes of footage that got cut out i know this because i still have like my face cam footage but yeah not the um not the recording of the game but yeah that's where we left off and uh yeah i guess we'll just go back into the game now <laughs> play in the background sure beautiful okay <laughs> lovely the forgotten lands look so much better now thanks for your help jamie no thank you donald Aw, it was my pleasure mine too since i'm such a great friend i got you a present to thank you for being such a great friend too jamie oh his little shirt thanks donald oh don't be mad donald this is really cute okay <sighs> Next quest, my kingdom for a scroll. Gather the following items to craft. Um, okay, I guess we'll go to Wally's house. Just going through all of the quests that I've avoided because I wanted to do them on camera. Oh, cute. Place the McBerry tree next to Scrooge's store. Oh, right, because she wanted to like spy on him. I like totally forgot about this. Totally forgot. Are those microphones? That's so funny. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, where's, um, Goof 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 Goof's at his house. Wow, I, <laughs> I don't 
know what I was expecting. I, I really wasn't expecting anything, but I just bought Bush. I, I can't. Okay. Hey there, Jamie. Want an apple? They're on sale. No time for apples. Someone's planning to steal a scroll from Scrooge McDuck. Yikes, we gotta go warn Uncle Scrooge. He's counting his money today, so it'll be hard to get his attention. But this is important, so I'll make sure I do. Gosh, I warned him, but Uncle Scrooge didn't seem too worried. Guess having you around, Jamie, makes everyone feel better. Talk to Mother Gothel. She coming up through the Glade of Trust. I took the item with the voices on it as soon as Goofy and Scrooge finished speaking. If you could operate it, I knew it mustn't be too difficult. Shall we listen? Recording sounds. 752, 753. Uncle Scrooge, I gotta tell you something. Let me finish counting my coins. 754. But you don't understand. Somebody's trying to steal a scroll from you. I knew it. All of those scoundrels running about, one of them was bound to take interest. But no one need to worry, lad. I hid the scroll in a locked chest near the cave on Dazzle Beach. It was before the forgetting, so I didn't know which cave it was. Well, if it's locked there, it must. there must be a key. I... And I submerged that in the pool in the glade, the one near the ruins. Recording sounds. Phew, that sounds pretty safe. No one, nobody'd ever guess that. Finally, thanks to me, we have the information we need. Go dig near the caves on Dazzle Beach for the chest, Jamie, and fish the key from the Glade of Trust near the ruins. Then bring everything back to me. Okay. Beautiful. And then let's catch this little lobster while I'm here, because we can always use some more lobsters there we go and then fly over to dazzle beach near the cave oh that needs to get watered okay oh crap wait what do you mean it needs to get watered how long did i just set myself back oh my gosh because uh, it said 33 minutes online did i just like push it back oh my god I find Scrooge McDuck's locked chest at the beach. Why did I get out my watering can? Shovel. Mother Gothel. Look at her and her sassy walk. Okay. Here you go. The chest and the key. And here it is, the sun scroll. This brings me one step closer to finding the sunstone. And all it took was an enormous effort on my part right about that. Of course you assisted, Jamie. I'll be sure to tell you when you can be of use again. Now run along, I have a scroll to study. All right. Well, I've translated some part of Scrooge's sun scroll thanks to your minor contribution. What did it say? Tragically, it doesn't have all the answers I hoped. It merely points towards the next step in finding the sunstone and restoring the giant willow. It goes on and on about power and magic, blah, blah, blah. But then it says that the remaining clues lie in a cave in the valley, and only the fire from an item called a sun sunlight torch can reveal them. 
I didn't want to confuse you with something too complicated, dear. Now, we must have three of them, one for each milestone of the day, dawn, midday, and sunset. You'll need some magic sap to act as a com combustible, but I've already gotten that for you. Thanks. And don't worry your cute little head about the recipe. I have it right here. You'll also need to find some gemstones, citrines, aquamarines, and garnets to symbolize the milestones of each day. Once you have all that, craft the sunlight torches and come straight back to me. Now, shoo! All right. Hi, Gothel. Oh, I knew my favorite little helper would have my sunlight torches in almost no time. Now, someone who can use dreamlight magic must go to the bottom of the mystical cave. There, you'll find the pedestal of the sun. Place the sunlight torches on it. Then, something will happen. I'm sure it won't be dangerous. To me. Ha 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 Oh, I'm so happy to hear you say that. No matter what happens, I want to know. Bring me evidence of whatever you find down there. Okay. Okay. Here we go. When there's a smile in your heart. There's no better time to start. Think of all the joy you'll find when you leave the world behind and bid your fears goodbye. How's my coconut? <gasps> Is it done? <gasps> Bring the coconut to Maui. Hold on. Hold up. Hold, please. Let's finish. Let's finish this for Maui first. Because I want to get rid of the blue green brain things because they're driving me nuts. What? You like mommy singing? He was just in here. He was just in here. Hi. You like your little mat? She's on her little crinkle mat. Yeah. Ow, something just like got really itchy up and down my spine. Ugh. Oh no, that's not what I meant to do. Mm. No. Where did he go? Stupid Maui. Literally, where did he go? How? How did you get there? Why is everyone just like meeting up there? Come here, you dum dum. Ta da, coconuts! One of my many feats, or one of the many feats that made me a hero. Speaking of heroism, are you a demigod too? You're a little small. I'm bigger than Hercules. No, so that's kooky dukes. You're just a regular human who can do non human y things, right? <laughs> Actually, I don't really care, because now coconuts will grow naturally on the beach. No more planting eels. Okay, you can go. I need to think about my next heroic deed. Check with me later. Okay, you can go. Right, I'm not going anywhere. Did I mention yet that I lasted the sun? The whole sun for mortal? Shut up. Oh, and by the way, did you see those big hunks of storm debris on the beach? I saw something stuck in one of them. Want me to show you? Sure. So obnoxious. What debris are you talking about? I can make your pickaxe stronger, yes, so you can break this stuff too, but first I'm gonna need some things I left back in my ocean. 
They're in a basket next to my boat on the island where we met. You get that stuff and bring it to me and we're good to go. Okay. All right, let me go do this for Mother Gothel. Yeah. And then we'll go to stupid Maui's beach so I can break the big brain things and live my best life. So that I don't have to like t travel to Dazzle, Dazzle Beach the way I've been traveling to Dazzle Beach because it drives me insane. Absolutely insane. Gorgeous. I love that I like never notice this stuff. Or does it like show up after a while? I don't know. I have noticed this orb though. Mm hmm. That's clearly something. Don't know what it is yet, but someday. Did it just say take a picture of the strange symbols? Shut up, I have to go back down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go back. Come on, Eric. Sorry about it. We're getting in our steps today. Hi. I'm not getting in my steps today. I've sat here all day long. Mm-hmm. Yep, she's just looking at me with love. Hi. Yeah. You feeling better? You're not allowed to be sick ever again. Ever. Mm -hmm. Come on boyfriend let's go like I am so in love with him madly genuinely I also would give up my voice and um my fin and everything I've ever known to be with him I get it I get it now as a child I said good for you Ariel as an adult I said uh Ariel you're stupid as a 28 year old today October 23rd um I get it I get it, we've come full circle. <laughs> we've come full circle. You're back and with proof. Now let me see it. Well, these are going to take more than a quick glance to decipher. Run along, I'll call for you when my research is complete and I need more manual labor done. Uh, my favorite little assistant, you're just in time to hear my news about the sunstone that you've been helping me track for some time now. Tell me everything. After some brilliant deductions on my part, that picture you brought me back from the mystical cave showed me what happened to the sunstone. To put it simply, it broke. I need you to find the fragments and bring them to me. Only someone with dreamlight magic at their fingertips can gather the pieces of the sunstone. And you're so good at fetching things. It really is your only talent, you know? Oh, I'm just teasing. I love your jokes. Finally, someone who appreciates me, my daughter can be so ungrateful. Now about the fragments. Each of them will appear at a specific time and place. The dawn fragment in the morning on the sunlit plateau. The noon fragment at midday in the glade and the dusk fragment at night in a forest. They'll glow like miniature suns on the ground, so you should find them is easily. Collect them all and bring them to me. Well, that one's gonna take a while. <laughs> um, hmm. Well then, how do I make her the stupid grilled fish? Do I not like have that recipe? Can we just put a fish on? See what happens? There we go. Stupid gothel. Move boyfriend. Ugh, you again just teasing. Okay, here, take that. Oh, I 
already finished that? Oh. My bad. Oh, I have to start discussions. Have I had a discussion with Gothel today? No. Dang it. Okay, well, whatever. Let's leave. <sighs> Let's go to stupid Maui's stupid island. Well, that was simple enough. All right, Maui, we finally got it. Take it. Great, now that I have these scrapping stones, I'll work on doing what I do, and you can do what you do. Bring me a snack, anything fresh and delicious. Here, take an apple. Oh, I have to cook something? Bring Maui, cook a fresh five-star meal? How is that a snack? You jerk. Stop, t what is he doing to Mickey? He's literally angering Mickey. Leave him alone. God, take your stupid soup. Your five-star snack. Thanks, Jamie. That smells delicious. Okay, here comes the greatness. Give me your pickaxe. He keeps asking for my stinking pickaxe. And here you go. An improved and sturdy as ever pickaxe reinforced by me. Wow, I hate it. Now it's strong enough to break through tons of stuff. Come on, Slowpoke. Let's go get whatever's stuck in the storm debris I showed you. Follow Maui back to the sea debris. He never even took me to the sea debris. Please tell me I can break the brains. I wanna break the brains. Is he talking about this brain? This right here? So what did you find? Poor Eric's hair looks so washed out right now. A piece of sandstone, huh? Whoa, that made me remember something. I brought fire to Dreamlight Valley before the forgetting. There was a bowl-shaped fire source from my ocean, but I haven't seen it around anywhere. Yes, that's my next gift to the village. We're going to recreate it. What do you say? Let's do it. I knew I liked you. Okay, now listen carefully. Use this piece of sandstone to make a new one. Oh wait, is this how you make the stupid statue of him? You'll also need some sand, rocks, coal, and red flowers like those pentstemons in the plaza. When you've got it all, put it together at that crafting place you've got. Then put the fire source inspired by yours truly somewhere in the village. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's break the brains. Break the brains now stat boom oh my god <sighs> i feel so much better already that's all i've wanted for so long oh that's kind of cool actually place the fireball in the village like anywhere. Where did he go? God. Look at that. Now you've got fire and an improved pick pickaxe. All thanks to me, Maui, demigod and hero to all. Tell your friends. And hey, let's do more dates like this in the future. That was fun. It really wasn't, but okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, it is almost 5.30 in the evening. My dinner will be calling for broccoli in about six minutes, because my alarm's, I'm, I'm cooking something. I'm cooking like Thai peanut chicken in the crock pot. Ah, uh, yes, love it. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm going to end the video here and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.